Uh, hello, everybody. Good, uh, happy, good morning, happy afternoon, wherever you're at. Uh, like Jamie said, I'm Chris Dow. I'm our Grandstream channel manager for, for North America here. It's going to take some time to run through some of our new and upcoming solutions on the uh, Wi-Fi networking side. I uh, have Hugh Quinn here with me. Uh, our director of support to help answer any questions. So for those of you that uh, have not used IP Video Talk before, feel free to use the uh, question button on the lower right hand side of the screen or feel free to use the chat box. Either one will work. Uh, jumping right into it, we'll spend about 20 minutes and then uh, open it up at the end for questions as well. For those of you not familiar with Grandstream, uh, welcome. This is our 20th year anniversary, uh, which is hard to believe. Uh, a lot of you that may not have known we have done networking uh, obviously got started on the ATA and, and Unified Communications side and have really dove into the networking side in the last, oh, I don't know, three, four years and can say we've really doubled down uh, if that's the right word, in the last 18 months or so. Uh, our tagline at Grandstream is we believe in connecting the world. Uh, for those of you that have used our portfolio of products are probably familiar with that. Uh, at the heart of everything is obviously the network and then everything branches off of that, whether we're talking phones or uh, surveillance, overhead paging, video conferencing, you name it. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff, given that we're in our 20th year anniversary. You may not know uh, that networking is our fastest growing product line. It has been for, oh, the last 20 months or so, to, to be honest with you. Uh, we have slowly rolled out a for, full portfolio of access points, both indoor and outdoor, uh, long range with the outdoors have a few different management options, some you may be familiar with, others you may not, and have approximately 15 new products that have either launched already or are coming later this year in 2022, and more products and product segments, if you will, coming in early 23, which we'll get into. Part of what's driving growth, I guess you could say, is we did make a heavy investment into becoming a member of the Wi-Fi Alliance. Uh, effectively, this just makes it that all of our technology from a networking standpoint will work seamlessly or a little bit less painful, if you will, with everybody else. So we are a member of the Wi-Fi Alliance. Uh, they're doing great stuff as far as driving global Wi-Fi adoption and, and evolution on their side as well. Before jumping into specific products, I want to touch high level on really the, the segment as a whole uh, pertaining to management options. So with all of our Grand Stream access points, uh, we have three different management options. We have a cloud option through GWN.cloud. We have a on-prem option with GWN Manager. And you may or may not know that most of our APs, I believe with the exception of one, all have built-in controllers as well. So you can use a master AP to control some of the others in that same deployment. Uh, it's very easy to install and manage. You can actually install through a barcode scan and manage that from a mobile app as well. Uh, we'll get into the full portfolio of indoor and outdoor long range APs and then diving a little bit deeper into those management options. We also have a bunch of really cool real time monitoring alerts and reporting that you can pull from those management options as well. Mentioned three different management options uh, again, embedded cloud or on prem. All are free to use. Uh, so it doesn't matter which one, they're all going to be free. Uh, really the one limitation is going to be on the number of APs in a given deployment. So with the embedded controller option, uh, a lot of that depends on the master AP from a capacity standpoint, but you are limited to that local deployment, obviously. 
with the cloud option, there is no limit in the number of APs. Uh, so you can feel free to put all of your APs and you can manage those individually by site. So that's pretty cool and unique, almost a multi-tenant type platform when, when it comes to networking. And then with the GWN manager, you are limited to about 3,000 APs. So that is the limitation from an on-prem standpoint. Now, products as a whole, uh, here is our current indoor access point lineup. Uh, Jamie mentioned the 7625 at the beginning, which I'll touch on here in a second. Uh, and then we also have the GWN 7660, which released, um, I believe, late last year, if I'm not mistaken, and then the 7664, which also uh, is a Wi-Fi 6 AP launching earlier this year. For those of you that have deployed some of our older APs, that 7660 is going to be a 2x2 two two AP, so similar to that 7605 there on the left, and that 7664 is going to be equivalent to that 7630. Those are both four by four APs. Uh, and then we'll get into the 7625 and where that fits into the portfolio here in a second. I won't run through these specs, spec for spec. Uh, just threw this chart in here, figured we'd be sending these slides out to anyone uh, that wants them. So here's kind of a quick snapshot of a side-by-side -side look of all of our APs stacked up with one another and where stuff fits. And with our long range and outdoor access points, here is our current portfolio as it stands right now. So uh, 7605 LR, 7630 LR have been out, oh, I guess uh, a year, a uh, year and a half or so. Uh, and then we'd launched the 7660 LR earlier this year and just launched the GWN 7664 LR, which I believe Streetwave received stock of uh, within the last week or so that's ready to sell. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff there as this portfolio continues to grow. Uh, so again, we'll get into specs, but it's a two by two and a four by four. Uh, so the 7660s, the 7605 and 64 is the third. Now, Jamie touched on this at the beginning, uh, and I just alluded to it, but a pretty cool and unique access point, if you will. Uh, this is our first hybrid access point in our portfolio. Uh, so what do I mean by hybrid? You're going to have 4x4 four four technology on the 5 band and 2x2 two two on the 2.4 band. So you do get a little bit of that 4x4 four four technology without having to pay for a full 4x4 four four AP. So it is a pretty, uh, it's a unique device to us because again, it is our first hybrid device. Uh, it is a Wi-Fi 5 one. We have Wi-Fi 6 hybrids on the, uh, the roadmap for next year, I believe, uh, but a pretty, pretty unique device about where it fits in our portfolio. This will be somewhere between a 7615 and a 7630. So again, you get a little bit of that 7630 technology without having to pay for, for the full 7630. In terms of our Wi-Fi 6 access points, uh, two options, the 7660 and then the 7664, uh, which is a couple months into its uh, existence, I guess you could say. So as mentioned, the 7660, for those of you that have deployed some of our older APs, will be something along the lines of the 7605. And then the 7664 would be something along the lines of that 7630. So with the 7660, that's going to be a two by two access point, coverage range up to 175 meters and can support up to 256 concurrent clients, uh, which is important if you're using that embedded controller that I touched on earlier um, in this presentation. 
uh, as far as comparisons go, because I get asked quite a bit, my, you know, vendors out of stock, what have you, um, you know, for those of you using Ubiquity, this would be something along the lines of like a U6 Lite. And if you're a TP-Link user, it'd be something along the lines of like an EAP610 to kind of give you an idea where that would fit. With the 7664, uh, this one's going to have a little bit more horsepower. So this is a 4x4 access point. Again, would compare to something along the lines of a 7630 uh, in terms of some of our older uh, APs or the Wi-Fi 5 APs, I guess I should say. It's going to, because there's more horsepower, it's going to support uh, about 2.5x more concurrent clients. So you're going to get 750 concurrent clients on this access point, and then a coverage range of 175 meters. So again, just a beefed up uh, four by four access point compared to the last one we, we talked about. This has been one of our more popular models. Uh, so again, I get asked the question quite a bit. This would be something along the lines of a U6 LR or a U6 Pro to kind of give you an idea if you're looking for stock on either one of those and looking for an alternative. Now, jumping into some of the newer outdoor products in the portfolio, we have the 7660 LR here. Uh, so this is a two by two, like it's indoor cousin, if you will. Uh, similar specs to the indoor one as far as the 250 meters, uh, the 1.77 uh, aggregate wireless throughput. The only difference is these outdoor ones are gonna have detachable antennas. Uh, so you are able to detach those. Uh, they are generic fittings, if you will. So we don't have a antenna accessory department at this point, but it can take uh, other generic antennas if you needed to swap those out for whatever reason. And here is the new one that we just launched, the 7664 LR. So... Like the 7660, this is one of our outdoor long range access points. Uh, it's gonna be a four by four access point, supports up to 750 concurrent clients. So similar specs as far as the indoor cousin that you have. The big difference between this one and the 7660 is this has four detachable antennas instead of two, since this is a four by four AP. Uh, again, generic fittings, uh, but you do have the option to detach those uh, for if you had a reason to do that. And then switching gears a little bit, but staying in the, the Wi-Fi sector, uh, we did recently, within the last few weeks or so, uh, it was right before the holiday, announce and release two new cordless Wi-Fi phones. Uh, so we have the WP810-820. We now have the 822 and 825. The 825 is our first cordless phone, whether it be decked or Wi-Fi, that is ruggedized. So the WP825 is our first ruggedized model. For those of you that have been asking for one, uh, we'll jump into the specs here in a minute. With the 822, this is going to be a two-sip account, two-line Wi-Fi phone. Uh, it does have a better battery from what you're accustomed to with the 810 and 820. So you're going to get about eight hours of talk time or 200 hours of standby time. The other big difference uh, with the 822 as opposed to the 820, for instance, is this is a Linux-based phone. This is not an Android-based phone like the 20 was. Uh, everything else pretty similar to the 810 and 820. You have the integrated Bluetooth. Uh, you have the push to talk button on the side for those of you that have been utilizing and configuring that. And then you have a micro USB port and a headset jack to go along with it. With the 825, like I mentioned, the, the big note on this one is being the fact that it is a ruggedized waterproof and drop safe phone up to 2.5 meters, I guess I should say. Like the 822, two SIP accounts, two lines, same battery as far as talk time standby goes, and then also has the integrated Bluetooth 
push to talk micro USB port, the uh, headset jack as well. Um, and again, this is a Linux based phone, not Android. Now, jumping ahead to what is upcoming here in 2022. And the first item has been a hot topic, uh, routers. So those of you may or may not know, but we did quasi end of life, uh, if that's the right word, the GWN 7000 earlier this year. Uh, Chipsets became hard to get for it. Quite frankly, was a little out of dated from a technology standpoint. Uh, so we stopped making it. We finally have new routers here on the roadmap slated for about an early September launch. Uh, in fact, we already got them produced. We're just waiting on the uh, the firmware, the software side, to uh, get finalized. So here's a picture of what our GWN7062 is going to look like. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi 6 router. We also have a Wi-Fi 5 router on the roadmap as well, uh, but this is our Wi-Fi 6 router. From a footprint standpoint, it's actually pretty small, uh, and it's not the it's not a hideous looking router either, at least in my opinion. So it can easily sit, uh, whether it's on a counter, on a desk, um, you know, whatever it may be, can can fit in wherever you need it to fit in at. Also coming in early September timeframe is our first in-wall access point. Those of you may be familiar with the 7602 access point, that smaller rectangular one uh, that is more for table or, or wall mounting, I guess you could say. This is kind of the, the next evolution of that. So this in-wall AP actually fits over the ethernet uh, drop, the, the rectangle on the, the wall, the, the cover plate there, will actually fit right over that, plug directly into uh, to the ethernet drop there and sit on the wall there. It's a pretty sleek looking device. Uh, you have the cover there, which is on the far right. So that's all you would see, assuming that cover was on, blue light there at the, at the top. Um, but again, this is our first foray into in-wall access points, which has been a, an ask. Uh, for various deployments. And finally, um, this is coming in late 2022. I think this is going to be more of a 2023 item, to be honest with you. But point to point and pull to point to multi point. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, so we do have both point to point and point to multi point on the roadmap. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have specs yet just because we're early in the process, but it is something on the roadmap and something that we are looking at our next vertical segment and as far as the evolution of our networking portfolio goes. Uh, so it is something that uh, that's coming out here probably in the next six months or so, I would say. And also on that note, uh, early 2023 PoE switches. So I know a lot, uh, a lot of resellers have been asking for this more from a standardization standpoint, but we do have PoE switches on the roadmap. Uh, it's something that we've talked about really for, for two years internally and are finally coming out. We're going to have a handful of models anywhere from, from four port up to, I believe, 32 port, to, to be honest. Uh, so it is, it is a segment of our networking that we're also going to, to be getting into along with the point to point stuff. So pretty exciting there. That's really all I got. Uh, like I said, we'll open this up for questions. I'll, uh, I'll leave you with this. There's five main points really with our networking stuff right now. The biggest thing is we have stock and it's available now. So we don't have any supply chain issues on Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6. So we, we have plenty of stocks. Streetwave has stock. You can get your needs taken care of pretty much today if you're waiting on something else. Uh, and also recently announced all of our networking GWN products now carry a three-year out-of-the-box warranty. Uh, so that is something that we've increased as well. So you get a three-year warranty. There's stock now, free controller. Um, you know, that's, that's what we're offering here. 
So, uh, again, thanks, everybody. If there's any questions, I'm sure Hugh will uh, be taken care of. Yeah, we've had some questions rolling in the group chat. And thanks for the presentation, Chris. A little bit of a mic drop there at the end with the uh, hiding, hiding, burying the lead of we've now increased our warranty out of the box for three years on the GWN line. So that's awesome to hear. Um, I did want to make an announcement, too, for, for everyone that's on the line here. Um, Chris didn't touch on it, but uh, if you'd like to meet any of the team, uh, Grandstream is going to be exhibiting this year at Wispapalooza in Vegas for any of uh the WISP customers that are interested or are going to be attending, you'll be able to talk to Hugh and Chris and everybody else on the team. Uh, they will be there in full force at Wispapalooza in Las Vegas, the beginning of October. Uh, you'll be able to put your hands on anything that they're bringing out. So I'm looking forward to maybe seeing some of the new toys that uh, are not quite available yet. As Chris did mention, um, Streetwave has everything that's in stock. We mentioned the 7625, that's in stock already. The 7664LR, that is also in stock. The new WP822, that is the non-Android, that is a Linux-based Wi-Fi phone, that is in stock already. The only one that's not is the 825. That is a brand new ruggedized Wi-Fi phone. Um, those are in route somewhere on the Pacific Ocean uh, coming from the factory for Grandstream to their warehouse, and then we'll have those, I'm suspecting, sometime in the next two weeks here, 10 days because uh, of when I saw the lead time uh, for the ship notification to our New Zealand office. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago, so I know that everything was shipping out about that time, and it takes about three weeks, three and a half weeks to get across the pond uh, on the Pacific side. So we should be seeing the A25s very soon if you're looking for the ruggedized Wi-Fi phones. Uh, but everything else that Chris highlighted today, except for the uh, future stuff, right? Everything, all the stuff is in stock. We've been trying to stay up on our run rates and make sure that as other manufacturers uh, that people might be familiar with from an indoor Wi-Fi uh, and even outdoor Wi-Fi solution, uh, manufacturers have run into problems. We've been able to highlight the fact that Grandstream has been here all along and we've been able to hold good stock. And what we don't have in our own warehouses, uh, they do. So I get a, a order report every week from Chris that tells their inventory runs and, and everything that they have, and they have plenty of these Wi-Fi uh, products for you, uh, for no matter what your application is. If you do have some large numbers, we've had a few people reach out to us in the several hundred feature, uh, you know, quantity runs, um, three, 400 units at a time. And so we've been able to reach out to Grandstream, and yes, they have them in stock. Uh, they have deal reg now. That's something that we can do for large orders. Uh, so it protects you uh, if you're bidding a Grandstream product into a, 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 a some sort of open bid format. Uh, you can be protected, and so can Streakwave. So let us know what we can help with from the sales side. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Hugh or anybody else on the on the questioning side. If you thought there was any good questions that people may have missed in the chat that you'd like to highlight specifically verbally, or just introduce yourselves. Thanks, Jamie. Hey, everybody. Thanks for all of the questions uh, on, on the chat. Appreciate it. Um, again, you know, we're always available to answer any questions that you need. Um, you know, we, uh, our support team has done a, a really good job this year of uh, really releasing GWN related content on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't had the chance, uh, please visit our, our YouTube channel. We have a lot of short how to videos on various different topics on our GWNs that can really help you throughout the process. Um, we also have our Grandstream Academy for the certification. Uh, we have a specific certification just for our networking products. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, please do uh, visit academy.grandstream.com and you can get uh, various uh, or different levels of certification through that portal. It's completely free. Uh, so please sign up and, uh, and we look forward to helping everyone out. All right, with that, we want to keep this one under a half hour. We started at three after, and we are at 28 now. So uh, with that, if there's no further questions, or if there are, feel free to hit the chat real quick. We'll take a minute and just make sure everyone's fine. But if not, you can reach out to your Streetwave representative or myself specifically. Uh, like I said, my name is Jamie Cassano. I am the product manager inside Streetwave for the Grandstream product line. And I will gladly take your answers uh, over to Hugh and Chris. 
uh, if I don't know them off the top of my head already. But I want to thank everybody for their time today, and everyone get back to work because you've killed your half hour. <laughs>